Tension type headache, or TTH, is the most prevalent neurological disorder worldwide, with over 2 billion people suffering from this type of headache. Chronic tension type headache, which is a subtype of TTH, has alone a global prevalence of 2 to 3 percent. Furthermore, tension type headache is ranked as the second most common cause of chronic disease and injury globally. Tension type headache is more common in women than men, with a sex prevalence ratio of 1.2 to 1, far lower than the 3 to 1 ratio that is typical of migraine. Clinically, TTH is characterized by recurrent headaches, which are normally bilateral, of tightening or pressing quality, and of mild or moderate intensity. The pain is generally not associated with nausea, photophobia, and phonophobia, whereas muscle hardness and peripranial tenderness, measured by manual palpation, are both common. In contrast to migraine, which represents its main differential diagnosis, the pain is also not typically aggravated by routine physical activity. TTH can be distinguished based on the frequency of attacks into infrequent episodic TTH. This is when headaches are present for less than one day per month or 12 days per year, or frequent episodic TTH, when headache days are either between 1 to 14 in the month or above 12 and less than 100 in, in 80 in a year. Finally, in chronic TTH, headaches are reported on more than 15 days per month or 180 days per year. TTH is often accompanied by a series of comorbidities, largely adding to the burden of the condition. These are most commonly anxiety, depression, or sleep disturbances. Other forms of pain, such as neck and lower back pain or migraine, are also more common in patients with TTH than in the general population. Regardless of its very high prevalence worldwide, progression on the understanding of the underlying biology of TTH has been slow, mostly due to a lack of scientific studies and scarce recognition of the disorder, for which patients rarely seek medical attention. The pathophysiological mechanisms underlying TTH are still not fully understood. It is thought that peripheral, myofascial, and central mechanisms play an important role in the altered nociception at the basis of the disorder. And genetic factors may also play a role, especially in chronic tension type headache. In fact, of importance are also the mechanisms responsible for the transformation of tension type headache from episodic into its chronic form, which is very debilitating for patients. Complex central brain mechanisms such as sensitization of second order brainstem neurons and altered top down or descending pain modulation from the cortex, the thalamus and limbic system are most likely at the basis of this process. Thank you.